Okay, hey guys, does that hurt with another new, another new week, another week of work? Because it's a new week, so I'm just about, I'm just finished work, and I'm gonna read for a little bit before I go to bed, and I'm just gonna read a bit of a love letter to Whiskey. You can't really see that. Hold on. So sorry about this guys. Let's go go. Well, you still have a life. I read no <coughs> I love letters to escape by Pandy Sana. And yeah, I will update you later on if you want that's what I'm gonna read today. And I will update you later on with my thoughts on it. So yeah, I will see you later. Um, so yeah, bye guys. Hey guys, so I <coughs> a while ago I finished reading A Love Letter to the Skate by Candice, Candice Dana and I give that book a 4 out of 5 stars if I remember rightly. I really enjoyed it and I'm going to film my review video review of it um, shortly and I'm now, now I'm currently 40% of the way through Forty percent of the way through Scoring Wilder by R. S. Gray, and I'm really enjoying this book. I've only I've only recently discovered R. S. Is great, R. S. Gray but R. S. Gray's books, and this is the third one I have read in the last. Well, I read two of her books last week, which was The Allure of Julian Le Frey and The Allure of Dean Harper. And this week I'm starting reading Scurry and Wilder. So I'm hoping to have gone through all her books in the next few months. But we will see. And I think I'll read two a week. Two, three a week. I should do. Um, I am really enjoying this book. It is a cute soccer romance. And yeah. I will update you my thoughts later on with what I think. Hey guys, so I have just finished reading reading Scoring Wilder by R.S. Gray and I get this book a 4 out of 5 stars. I really enjoyed it. I'm going to film my book review of it soon. And now I've just started reading. My Kindle's playing up, and that isn't. I just started reading The Wild Air by Karina Hale. I'm currently on chapter 2, so yeah. I will update you later with my thoughts on that. On my process. So bye guys and see you in a minute. Hey guys, I am just gonna update you. I have just finished reading The Wild Air and I'm sorry for all the eating if you hear the eating sound in the background. It is this little cutie. Come here, I wanna get you in the video. My little bunny. <laughs> With carrot lips. <gasps> oh, you got carrot lips. Daisy, you got carrot lips. You've got carrot lips. Yeah. I will have having a snuggle with her and I like to eat so very very in my room. So come on. 
Don't get my charger, eat your food. Come. That's what I'm eating my food now. And this strip to that. Oh, I just dipped it all over my bed. Yeah, I was back to it. <coughs> So I've just finished reading. Oh, a glare. I've just finished reading The Wild Air by Karina Halley. And I'll give this a four out of five stars. I really love this book. And yeah, I am going to film a little talk on it. Well, and I will link my blog post review as well <coughs> when it comes up. Um, yeah, so now I am going to read. I want to read the Swedish print. So I'm going to start reading the Swedish print tonight because this is currently 11 o'clock. So I'm going to read the Swedish, start the Swedish print. And yeah. Well, I will, hopefully I will like that as much because we did see Victor in this so yeah it's his love story so yeah I'm gonna read that and we yeah. shot at saving him and bringing him through if we do this if how are we supposed to get her upstairs when we talk to death Billy kidnap a reaper death is powerful but she and her reapers they don't decide who goes up or who goes down Anubis, guardian of the dead. The ancient Egyptians believed that when you die, Anubis would weigh your heart on his scale against Justice's feather. Yeah, the, the weighing of the heart ceremony, right? But that wasn't Anubis, that was Osiris. We met him. Major Dick. Osiris is Anubis's father, and having passed over him when they. Hey guys, it is Wednesday. <sighs> I know I've been in the same hoodie all the way through this week, but I have got a top on, a tank top on underneath. Um, I'll just cut it and re strap some more. <coughs> and I have just finished reading. Just finished reading this week. <coughs> Just finished reading the look at the cover of reading the Swedish Prince by Karina Halle, as I've said. And I give this book a 4 out of 5 stars. I love this book just as much as I loved The Nordic King. I just love Victor and I loved Maggie. And I could, did I say The Nordic King? The Wild Air. So The Nordic King is on my TBR for next month. I do want to read The Nordic King. Um. I might read that at the end of the month. I'll take a break because I've binged these two. Or I might binge it and read it after I've read. <sighs> I'm tired and I've got work tonight. I'm not looking forward to it. Um, yeah, I might read The Nordic King in the beginning of the month. We will see. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed this book. I was hot, couldn't put it down, and yeah, now I'm going to read the 
um, if you look on the middle of the page already, now I'm going to read Hot Shot Dark by R.S. Gray. And yeah. And I need to film my wrap up so I can get it up tomorrow. And I need to film my TV app for you. So then that can go up before this week reading vlog. Yeah. I haven't filmed my wrap up and I need to film my TV app video. Uh, nothing. I just want to read. I want to film. So yeah. Okay, I'm gonna film my wrap up, and then I can get it ed uploaded while I'm at work on tonight. I'm doing it. I can have my phone uploaded the video. I could do that. So yeah. Bye guys, and I will see you in my next clip. Hey guys, so today I'm here to film my book review of the Ella, the Ella of Dean Harper by R.S. Gray and I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars I will just read you these synopsis From Lily and Black at gmail.com to Josephine Keller at vlogmagazine.com Subject or a flippin idiot Good morning my dear naive friend I hope you're enjoying the breakfast of regret and sorrow right, why? Because you sent me, for work, sent me to work for Dean Harper aka a control freak in a tailor made suit Sure, he owns the trendiest restaurants in New York City, but come on, Joe. His ego makes Kanye West look like the Dalai Lama. He's a type of guy that only hears the word no when he when it's followed by don't stop. Working for Dean Harper would be like selling my soul to the devil, and before you say anything, I don't care if the devil has a punch you in the brown eyes. And a master match, my soul isn't for sale, regretfully yours, Lily. And there is something special about Iris Gray's books that I love. And they put, when I read them, they put me in the best mood. And Dean Harper's story was just as good as Julian Lafray's. You meet... Um, hold on. The tension in this is perfect. It is my, a really good enemies to lovers story. And we met Dean and Lily in the previous book, The Illo of Julian Lafray, and I will link my review in the cards. Um... Lily is Julian's best friend and she's just me moved to New York City to give her career in the restaurant business a go. And Dean is the city's top restaurateur and he is Julian's best friend. And I loved that even though they both, hate, they both hated each other, that there was an intensifying just chemistry and the attraction there. And they're both stubborn as each other. And they're both falling for each other and it's obvious this is a charming witty and sexy fun read and it's a light hearted story and it's a perfect beach read I read this book in one sitting and I couldn't put it down the characters are likeable and relatable and the tension is just so good in this book and I totally recommend so I will see you in my next video which will be my wrap up so yeah, I will see you in my wrap up video and then yeah. Bye guys and see you in my next video. Hey guys <coughs> Hey guys, today I'm here with my February wrap up. <coughs> and so the first book that I read this month 